K93 Alexandria's number one hit music station. Joining us on the show by phone is award-winning filmmaker and co-creator of Unsolved Mysteries, Terry Dunn at Muir. Terry, thanks for calling in. Good morning. Hi. Tell us how Unsolved Mysteries originally came to fruition. We uh, produced three episodes about missing people, uh, and that kind of sparked the idea that there's different kinds of mysteries that are out there, not just missing people, but but murders and every uh, you know, robberies and arsons and UFOs and ghosts. So we broadened the missing person idea out to be unsolved mysteries and, and just wanted to, to present as many different kinds of mysteries as we as we possibly could with the goal and the hope of, of, of having some of these cases solved. When we did the first three missing persons cases, some of the cases were solved and that was like, well, that's Maybe, maybe we can do this with other <laughs> kinds of cases as well. Over the years, uh, what stories and mysteries have stood out to you the most? I think the, the cases that are the most troubling and the most haunting are the are unexplained death episodes. Those are the ones yeah. where you know, the question is, was it an accident or was it foul play or was it suicide or, or foul play? Um, there's often a lot of forensic evidence in those cases that you're kind of weighing. And I think those, those are the ones that I personally spend with the most. And then we have our, our paranormal episodes that are just unexplainable. I've always <laughs> been a believer in the paranormal until somebody proves to me that it does you know that UFOs and ghosts don't exist. I'm I'm on board. Um, and uh, so those are those are also really really intriguing when you have credible people and you have some evidence of some kind as well. Well, I agree with you. I I love those. How do you guys choose what mysteries to cover? Oh, it, it's really. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's really hard. Um, we we want to always present a variety of mysteries. So a missing persons, a wanted fugitive, a unexplained death, a murder, and then some paranormal cases as well. So we look for that that mix in this volume three, which is launching next Tuesday. We have nine episodes. Three of them are paranormal. Three of them are unexplained death cases, and then we have a missing and a wanted. So we always have a look for a variety. Mm-hmm. We try to do cases variety of location as well, variety of age of the, the people we're, we're interviewing. Um, you know, we, we don't want the audience to feel like, oh, I've seen that case, that, that, one, that mm-hmm. one's familiar. We want always to, to present something new if we can. Is it true that you guys actually go back and update older episodes as new details come about? We do, we do. It's amazing how many cases get solved every year. So at least once or twice a year we go back and, and um, you know, put cards and some narration uh, in the old episodes because... They get solved, and, and if, if we don't do that, actually, the people who are watching the uh, the episodes, they'll write to us, and they'll say, hey, you've got to update this one, or there's some new information <laughs> in that one. So get on it. We get, yeah, they, they, call us, they call us out. Oh, yeah, they, <laughs> they call us out, and we aren't, we aren't on top of it. But, yeah, it's amazing. You know, when we started the, the series so many years ago, DNA didn't even exist. DNA exactly. DNA didn't even exist, and now so many cases are solved because of DNA, which is... Great. Miranda was kind of saying that uh, earlier before we started the interview. You, you guys were like the first ones to start this. Yeah, you guys were like, as a kid growing up, I remember watching Unsolved Mysteries and just like, and I still to this day, crime docuseries, they all sort of follow y'all's model that y'all really presented us with. Oh, well, that's, that's nice of you to say. How do y'all keep up with the past mysteries and how to update them? We keep in touch with, with law enforcement. We um, we um, we have a huge database of stories, of, of new stories, and then the old stories that, that be, you know, through social media or, or oftentimes through our fans mm-hmm. we find out that, that a case has been solved. But we have trackers on every case, you know, kind of keywords for articles uh, in social media and then in the press. So we we're pretty we find out pretty quickly when a, when a case has been solved. Um, and sometimes family members call us and tell us yeah. they're solved as well. What can we look forward to in Volume 3, Unsolved Mysteries Returns on Netflix for a three-week event, without giving us too many spoilers? <laughs> uh, well, we have a great UFO uh, case that takes place in Michigan uh, that is really cr- very, very, very credible. This gentleman with the National Weather Service was tracking a UFO for hours. Wow. Um, and so that's, that's intriguing. We have a, a ghost story. Uh, if you believe in ghosts, as, as mm-hmm. I do, that this woman who was probably murdered came has, has come back and is trying to encourage 
people to solve her case. Wow. Um, and those are a couple of, and we have a, a case, a, a lot of paranormal activity on the Navajo Nation, so we have a, an episode about that. We have a, a wanted case out of, out of Michigan, a woman who uh, killed her boyfriend and is on the run. Um, and then we have three really intriguing unexplained death cases. Um, one that takes place in Tampa, a man that went out on his small little little dinghy boat mm-hmm. and um, didn't didn't come home. Uh, we have uh, a gentleman, a very high profile, colorful character in Las Vegas who died mysteriously in a motel room. And then we have a very tragic story of an 18 year old girl who was hit by a train, and wow. um, the family believes that she was laid on the tracks. Uh, and to, and she was, you know, in order to cover the evidence of foul play. Wow. Quite the variety. Definitely. It's got a little bit for everybody. I'm very hopeful. Is it safe to say that we'll be getting more episodes beyond this volume three? You know, that's a question for Netflix. We are very <laughs> hopeful that we will. We have so many mysteries that we would like to, to solve. That's with, um, you know, with Netflix, we're doing one episode one story per episode was when we were the, the vintage episodes um there were four stories yeah. per hour so we aren't we, yeah but there's just there's just so many cases we, we want to profile so but we haven't gotten word from netflix yet i guess we'll wait and see how how volume three does fingers crossed well, we've been speaking with co-creator of unsolved mysteries that's terry dunn muir volume three of a three-week event for unsolved mysteries begins tuesday october 18th terry thanks again so much for calling in and talking with us oh thank you for having me